In our crowded stores and markets and the saturation of different products, it's really important to make sure that your package design stands out from all the others. Think about it. It is the first impression that your customers have with your brand. So it's so important to make sure that you're making a lasting impression and that it actually catches your audience's eye. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to design for a package, how to create die lines, and overall how to mock this up. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I recently went to Sprouts and every time I'm there and I walk past the coffee aisle, I am just like amazed at all the beautiful packaging. But this one caught my eye because I feel like it has a really cool offering. It's like low acid and infused with different... Um, types of ingredients. So I was like, let's redesign this. I have some fun ideas for it. So I jumped over to my iPad and I was using the app called Procreate to design some icons that I was envisioning. I wanted to do like a mixture of showing the matcha green tea leaves, the goji berries, and the Rubio's tea. So I was drawing that out at first, but then I went on to Pactora, which they are an awesome application. Then after I did that, I went over to Pactora, which is where I'll be finding the die line and the mock-up for this package design. It's super cool because you can type in any sort of item that you're looking for, whether that's coffee, a box, tissue paper, whatever it is, and they will have a die line for you to download. So I wanted to find a coffee bag similar to the one that Team In Coffee already uses, but I did want to kind of see some options and see if they had anything else more unique about it. But I decided to just go with the coffee with the zipper and it's super cool because once you click on that item, it'll give you the option to download the die line for Adobe Illustrator. So I think that's just a super awesome feature of Pactora that it gives you those die lines and it makes it super easy to know the sizing of everything to design. So I love that part about it. I decided to go over to the Teemans website just to see what kind of branding they have already existing. And guys, I was a little un underwhelmed because they didn't really have a lot of like color, nothing super exciting. I just feel like this brand could be so much more fun and exciting. So I wanted to really hone in on different kind of patterns and icons that we can add to this. So I'm just kind of exploring around the website to get some inspiration, if I could find any, and just kind of brainstorming what I want to do for the packaging. So i downloading this die line and I'm going to go over into Adobe Illustrator to set it up. If you want to play with Pactora yourself, I do have a 20% off coupon in my description. So be sure to go check that out because this is such a helpful platform. But now that I have the die line, I'm just going to go get straight to designing. I'm going to bring in the illustrations I created on Procreate and we're basically going to image trace that so I can start to play around with a pattern. So image tracing your illustrations will just vectorize it so they'll be very high quality. So you can scale them, make them bigger, make them smaller and really just play around with them and create that pattern directly within Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just playing around with the image trace options. I'm using the six color option since this is a color pattern and just kind of adjusting the noise and the threshold to make sure that the icons look as crisp as possible. So now that I have that, I'm just going to object pattern and make on Adobe Illustrator and we are going to just adjust how this pattern looks and kind of add a few more elements to make it look completely full and complete. I find this part so fun. It's really exciting to see like how everything kind of comes together. And I'm not super set on that color red for the goji berry, but I can definitely change the colors later if I decide to. So I'm just adding in the green from the already existing team and branding and just filling in the die line here. I want to bring some of those die line lines and guides to the front. That way I can see like which area I'm supposed to be designing in and understand the bleeds of everything. So if you see me just copying and pasting that, I'm just gonna be pasting it into the front of the design so I can see exactly where it is I'm designing. And now that I have that there, I'm basically going to just start, you know, throwing all my designs out there. So I've always wanted to design for coffee brands. I think that's like one of my dream, eventually like dream kind of niche or client to get into. I. I'm always, I'm a coffee fanatic. If you guys follow me on Instagram and stuff, you would see that I'm always at a coffee shop 
It's one of my favorite things to do when we travel. I love to explore coffee shops. So I feel like I have a lot of ideas for coffee brands. And I don't know, this one especially just really always stands out to me because I've never seen a coffee company that infuses their coffee with like matcha and rubios and things like that. So I just think that they could be really like stand out a lot more in that aisle at the grocery store. So as you can see here, I'm just adjusting the Koji Berry colors. Those are really bright in my opinion. Not quite sure if it's totally my style. So I wanted to kind of darken those up a little bit, make it a little more muted. And then as you can see, I kind of jumped ahead. I wasn't recording my screen for a little while there, but I decided that I think it'd be really cool to have the coffee bag wrapped in that kind of burnt red color. I don't know, I just think it would stand out a lot more. I think that the muted green that they have is nice, but just doesn't stand out when it's amongst all these other brands. So now I'm just kind of going off the grid completely crazy and redesigning their logo as well. Just doing a really simple script logo, kind of making it look a little bit more vintage because I feel like that's the vibe the team in brand is giving me. It's like very like family. I don't know if they're family owned, but it's giving me that kind of vibe. So I wanted to keep it very kind of like vintage looking and just like it's been around a while. So that's kind of the vibe I was going for. And then I'm just making sure to add all the verbiage in that was on the existing bag of coffee beans, uh, making sure that I definitely have the infusion part really clear. So I also wanna make sure that the type of roast is big and center and bolded so people know exactly what it is that they're looking at. And yeah, I'm just kind of adjusting and playing around with this. So I will let the video go so you can kind of see where my head was at when I'm designing, but I'm super excited with how this is already coming together. and forth on what to have on these kind of seams on the sides but I think having that that simple tagline that they use better for you better coffee it would be really nice on those sides so now I'm just exporting the design as a PNG that's the best way to upload it into Pactora and once I have that PNG we will be able to really play around with the mock-up and the 3d rendering so I'm just adding that PNG. As you can see, it fits perfectly because that dye line they gave me was exactly what I needed. So I love that. Um, and just adding it perfectly within that design so that the sizing fits. And as you can see on the right there, we already get a little preview of the 3D effect. I think it's gonna look so cool. I think it's awesome that Pactora allows you to mock this up so easily and just makes it look like a real actual product that could be on the shelf. So. Here it is. I'm so excited with how it came together. Let me know what you guys think. I think this looks super fun. This only took me like maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I feel like if I really dove into the full branding, I would go a little more creative, a little more crazy with it. I really just made this kind of simple, but I think it looks super fun, super cool. Um, and I'm just kind of adjusting the roughness of the packaging just like the surface roughness, which is kind of cool that you can do that on Pactora as well. But I think that this looks really cool and it's really nice that they also give you options on other mock-ups and coloring and the lighting and everything like that. So I am 
really enjoying using this platform and I think that you guys would also really love it if you want to like put your designs onto a real mock-up and use that in your portfolio. This could make your portfolio look so professional. So I think it's so, so fun. Look at how cool these patterns are and just seeing it in different environments with like leaves around it, things like that. And I think this could really help you land some clients that might be interested in packaging design and things like that. So let me know what you guys think of this final design. I am really loving it. I had so much fun designing this. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and be sure before you leave to check out Pactora. I have a 20% off coupon for you all. Try it out. Let me know how you like it. It's an amazing platform and it will up level if you are a package designer or a graphic designer. It'll up level your mock-ups in so many ways. So definitely go check that out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and I will see you in my next one.